Jimmy Johnson won today at Infineon. Real course. Only reason why he won is because Denny Hamlin had a bad day. And Marcus Ambrose couldn't handle the pressure. Um, congratulations to Kevin Harvey. Finished third. Uh, Tony Stewart, I'm pissed at you. Pissed at your team, I, I, you know, and I'm sure you're just as pissed, but you know what, man? I hope y'all get it going, but man, the day was hard to watch for uh, Stewart fans. He finished ninth, but my gosh. This is one of his tracks, you know. This is one of those tracks where, you know, that you expect him to be up there uh, competing for the win, and he wasn't. So maybe it had a lot to do with fuel strategy, I don't know. Um, everybody uh, that watched the race probably noticed how Jeff Gordon wrecked the field. I'm trying to figure out where's the outcry. There used to be legions and legions of Jeff Gordon haters. And now since Jeff Gordon has a new teammate called Dale Earnhardt Jr., all of a sudden, he's got all these bandwagon fans. I don't know. Uh, but, anyways, he pretty much wrecked the field. And uh, there's no outcry. There's no outrage. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Kyle Busch would have drove like Jeff Gordon did today, he'd probably be sitting in the hall. No, probably, he'd probably be down there in Daytona sitting right now with Brian France himself. Um... But Jeff Gordon, he gets away with everything. So, you could uh, put that on a number of things. First of all, you know, he drives for Hendrick and to NASCAR and to the whole world. Hendrick can do no wrong. You know, it, it's always funny how you have all these Hendrick fans that are just out there in just swarms. And uh, they're all about, uh, you f you, you'll hear them talk about how uh, how they're into, what is it, integrity and doing the right thing. But yet they, they, uh, they, uh, they're perfectly fine with their team cheating to win. But the fans and the NASCAR will just allow Jeff Gordon to get away with the rough driving. I mean, it's one thing if you got, you know, less than 20 laps to go, especially in an oval, you know, at a place like Sonoma, it's like 10 laps to go. It's kind of like 20 laps to go at an oval. But, you know, he was wrecking everybody all day. You take a guy like Martin Truex Jr., who was running up front all day. I mean, you know, second, third place. You know, he had one out of the car to beat. I guess Jeffy didn't like uh, having a nap car in front of him because he turned him. I mean, then he he blamed it on Juan Pablo Montoya. It's always about blaming someone else. Yeah, he said he's sorry right, you know, right before he said, well, it was the 42 car uh, pushed me into him. Come on, Jeff. You idiot. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished 11th. And Dale Jr. is celebrating. I mean, the fans are just celebrating over 11th place finish. What to do? I'm pissed off at Tony Stewart for finishing 9th. Dale Jr. fans are happy with 11th. Um, they're race, racing at Loudon this next week. I think I'm going to write down Denny's name, but I'm not really for sure yet. Still kind of a long ways away for me to just sit here and think about it. I like to do a little bit of research. I also want to play some strategy against uh, some of 
my competition on the TMS boards. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll hope Martin Truex gets back at, at at Gordon like he said he would. That'd be awesome. That'd be neat. If, if that was to happen, I may go buy a T-shirt. I don't know. I still have to wear a Jimmy Johnson T-shirt because I lost a bet. Uh, I'll do it sometime. <laughs> Procrastination. That's my middle name. Anyways, 73.